Hi everyone and welcome back to another CC haul. I have not filmed a CC haul in what feels like forever. I think it's almost been two months and usually I do these once a month, but these are items that I have gotten quite a while ago, but I just never made the haul. So here it goes. Here's my recent CC haul. I have so, so many items. Of course, they will all be linked down below in the description box as always. So yeah, let's jump in. I think first I would like to show you the skin details I got. The first one you can already see. It's the Kokoro skin, which is the skin overlay my Sim is wearing right now. There are a couple of different versions of this, but it's basically just a very soft looking skin overlay. It does not change, you know, your Sims' skin color. It just kind of makes everything really smooth and it can change the lid and eye shape kind of, I think you can tell. So yeah, that's the Kokoro skin. And on the other hand, not so smooth, I also got a wrinkle set. I got the rose wrinkles. The problem is I'm not sure if I can find them right now. <laughs> it will still be linked in the description box. It's just a skin overlay that adds wrinkles, you know, for your Elder Sims. I just can't find it in my game right now, but I still want to link it in case you are looking for something like that. I also got some new teeth. So this is the Imperfections teeth set. And as you can tell, my Sim has these teeth on right now. Let me, let me see them. Here they are. Yeah, they are just, you know, imperfect, but they are still so, so cute. And I was just kind of sick of seeing like the, I guess, perfect teeth that your Sims have. Of course, there are a couple of different options in game and I really like those, but I just wanted some more options for... I don't know, different kinds of teeth. Kind of random, but I think it adds a lot of personality to your Sims. I don't know. <laughs> and then I also have one piece of makeup. It's this graphic liner set by Chewy Butterfly. I love everything they make. The eyeliner she has on is part of that set. There are so many different colorful options. And of course, just a basic black swatch. This eyeliner is also part of the set. Again, so, so cool. I think this one is also part of it. You can't really tell because of the big lashes, but these colors are a bit more natural. Some browns, a black swatch, and a blue one. This is definitely part of it. Again, so special, so cool. I love this. I think the white is also so cool. So definitely check out Chewy Butterfly for different kinds of makeup, eyeliner, but also some other stuff. They are definitely worth checking out. On to accessories. You might have already noticed the piercing my Sim has on. The little nose ring she has is part of the bad nose ring piercing set by... Praline Sims, I think. I definitely used to have this in my game and I must have deleted it on accident because I was looking for it and couldn't find it. So I just re-downloaded it. This ring is perfect. There are two sizes. This is the bigger one and the smaller one. I especially love this set just for the smaller one, to be honest, because the piercings we have in game, watch this, they, they are way too big and bulky. I don't know, they don't look as good as the smaller one. It looks way more realistic. Of course, there's also one for the other side and a septum if that's what you want. You can even put them all on together. In this case, I choose not to. I just want that one ring. And yeah, I think it looks awesome. I also got these pearl glasses. They are so, so adorable. Probably something for uh, my elder Sims. I don't know who I'm going to give this to yet, but I love these glasses. They add so much personality. I love them. Then these earrings and this necklace, part of the same set. This is the gem necklace and the gem earrings. Both are absolutely beautiful. I love the swatches and the different colors they give. So, so stunning. And of course, the earrings just go with the necklace swatches. I will use these so, so much. I also got some earrings by Sims Trouble. These ones are the Sea Love earrings. They have this little shell on them and the pearl. And they are so beautiful and summery. And they look gorgeous on the Sim. Love them. And then part of the same set, I also got these Stargaze earrings. There are a couple of different swatches, but the stone is the same color with all of them. The swatches just change like the outside plumb up part. I love that. And then last accessory, this one is part of the Mimosa collection actually by Serenity and Green Llamas. And it's called the Rosa Necklace. Somehow it is looking a little weird on this particular sim, but I think Alex from the Disney All-Stars LP wears it in 
one of her outfits and it looks fine on her so I don't know why it's weird on the sim but it's really beautiful it's this layered necklace it has a bunch of swatches I think there's not that much to say <laughs> now onto the hairstyles there are a lot of hairstyles so I'm gonna try to get through all of them as quick as possible you know not explain so much number one this is the Veda hairstyle by Simtrick absolutely obsessed with it it looks so good on this sim we have all of the standard swatches they all look amazing i love the braids and this bubbly part especially next up this is the beth hair by dogzill pretty basic but super stunning with this little braid on the side very wearable for any kind of sim i think next up dahlia hair and this one comes in four different options so we have these four versions which are basically all the same just in some different variations obviously but i love the texture the big waves you guys know i love big wavy hair and it's not always done well you know my favorite big waves are by sips trouble but these come really close they look amazing and so i don't know so soft i love it <laughs> by the same creator this is the morgan hair and it's this super long beautiful braid and it actually has this big i don't know accessory in the back i think this is meant for maybe prom or a special occasion doesn't really go well with this outfit if you consider the back but if you just look at the front it looks really cute with it as well Hair number five, this is the Eliza hair by Johnny Sims. I'm obsessed with this. It looks perfect. I feel like maybe Alex will get this once she's more, once she's maybe an adult and not a young adult anymore, even though anyone could wear this. I love it. This next hair is by Sim Celebrity. You know, they're one of my faves. I had a lot of hairs <laughs> by them. And this one is called the Victoria hairstyle. We have this solid swatch and then there's the ombre version as well. I love all of these swatches. It just looks so good. It's so well done i'm obsessed with it what else can i say i feel like so many sims will be able to pull this off it's beautiful by the same creator this is the scarlet hair and again a big waves but this time more glamorous it's totally screaming old hollywood and it goes perfect with this look i am obsessed so so stunning also by Sim Celebrity, they've been working hard lately. The Vivian hairstyle. This one is so chic, so sophisticated. I love the little, I don't know, curl at the bottom and then this twisted part. It looks so stunning. And I need to find a Sim that I can put this on, at least for their formal outfit, because it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Next up, I have the Carol hairstyles by Serenity. So I think this one was the original Carol hairstyle and I already had this in my game. But now Serenity added four more hairstyles that are kind of the same style but a little bit different each time. So we have this one where we also have the curly bangs but a short low ponytail in the back. There's this one that has a bun. This one with the little pigtails and I am obsessed with it. And then one with two space buns and they all have these curly bangs and I love it so maybe you have a sim who's gonna get all of these hairstyles you know they just go well together and it looks like it's just the same sim on different days of the week or something like that so yeah i'm happy serenity added those next up i have the laura hairstyle it's this really long braided ponytail it's big it's fluffy i love the little i don't know pieces that are falling out by the same creator i also downloaded the blue moon hair you know i love space buns i think they're so cute and the bangs just make this style even better i don't know i love them i hope i will find a sim that can pull this off Next is the Rhea hair. This one is definitely more basic, a little bit more wearable. I feel like I don't really have to say much about this. It has a very basic and wearable texture and length and I don't know, it's very basic, but I like it. This next hair I am obsessed with. It's by Shea Buttery, Shea, Shea Butt, Shea Butter. I don't, I don't really know, but I love them. They make the best braids and textured hair. It's so beautiful. And this is the Braylon braid bun. It's a super high bun and it has the braids and the slicked part. Oh, I love it. And these are the brindle braids. So it's, I think, basically the same hairstyle, but the hair is not into a bun. It's just this like side ponytail. It looks so fun. I love it. And also by Shea, Shea Buttery. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. Uh, if you know, please tell me. This is the Solana Slick Pony. Not much to say. It's a very slick Kim Kardashian-like ponytail that goes over one shoulder. 
stunning and who would have thought also by the same creator the prima donna ponytails these also come in all of the ea swatches but there are also some additional ones which i really appreciate we can always use more hair swatches in my opinion i especially love the purple one so cute okay i think this is the last one by this creator but this is the dolores updo obviously inspired by dolores from encanto and we have this uncluttered version and then the cluttered version which i love even more i love the big bow it's so so beautiful i really hope i'll find a sim that can wear this really soon next up is the miller hair by raven sim and i feel like this goes really well with the carol hairstyles i showed you earlier by serenity it's kind of the same idea just that these bangs are even curlier and maybe i don't know have more hair in the face if that makes sense but i also love these and there's also a kid and a toddler version and they are so so cute so definitely check that out then this is the emery hair by dogzil i feel like we have a lot of curly and wavy hairs in this video and i'm totally here for it i think this wave texture is also so so cute next up we have another updo and this is the janet hair and it's part of the colorful summer collection this is the basic version there's also this braided version where like the back of the head is braided at the bottom it's kind of hard to explain but i think you can tell with the lighter swatches and this is so so cute there's also a flower accessory that goes with it i think yeah it's this one over here and it looks so cute i think i didn't put it on because it didn't really go with this outfit but there are a couple of different swatches and you can make it work with so many looks i feel like especially prom this would look so so cute for prom and there are also these bows that make sense with the braided version i guess so cute i definitely want one of my sims teens to wear something like that for prom from the same collection this is the alicia hair another braided ponytail this one is a little bit higher though again i think not much to say it's pretty self-explanatory we also have these bonus swatches again i really appreciate having more swatches always this next hairstyle i'm so obsessed with especially with this look it looks so so good this is the Javaria hair by Okru, another name I never knew how to pronounce, I'm so sorry. But definitely one of my go-to hair creators. And I love everything about this particular style. I love the wavy texture, I love the curly bangs, the braids and the pearls and the, I don't know, beads. I don't even know how to explain this, this is perfection. And the colors of the beads and pearls change with the hair swatch i don't know if there's an overlay if there is then i couldn't find it but that would be a really nice addition to be able to choose the color of those but other than that i am so so pleased with this look even the gray version looks so hot how literally how <laughs> but yeah definitely check out okru okuri i'll never know how to say their name the next hairstyle is part of a bigger collection and I can't wait to show you the items, but this is the Sylvia hair by Aretha. It's part of the Glitch collection they made with Santaid. It's this really short bob with bangs. I love it. So fashionable. And this is the Carrie hairstyle, part of the same collection. By Okio, this is the Vanessa hair. We again have a couple of different versions, but I mean, basically they're all the same, just slightly different. <laughs> and it's this half up, half down with a bun in the back. And this is so beautiful so chic i love it did someone count how many times i said i love it or stunning or beautiful i never know what else to say all of these items are so good otherwise i wouldn't have gotten them but yeah this is the ellison hair by a harris oo britney another one of my go-to creators and these colorful uh, highlights are an accessory that you can put on or take off whenever you want this is the hairstyle without the strands and then this is it with the strands or highlights, I guess. And you can choose the color. I love the red, but they all look so, so good. Ooh, the pink is nice as well. Obsessed. <laughs> this next hair is called the Jasmine hair. Also by A. Harris O. Brittany. And the clips are an accessory that you can take off. Then this is the Tatiana hair by Sims Trouble. Again, Sims Trouble makes my favorite wavy hair, so I love this. From the same collection, this is the Luzine hair. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
Lusine hair. I love the bangs. I love the waves. I love the scarf. Next. Oh, we are already at our last hairstyle. Awesome. This is the Lima hair by Green Llamas. Again, you can remove the highlights. You can have the highlights. You can change the highlights color. Love, love, love. I've already been recording for 30 minutes and we have only covered the hairstyles. So let's move on to tops. The first top is this clover top. I love the texture of it and it's in kind of this corset style. There are a lot of solid swatches and then we also have these patterned versions and it's definitely a really cute and I think versatile top. Top number two, this is the Karma blazer. It, it does not come with this top underneath. You have to add a separate accessory, but I really love that because you can, you know, just pick and choose whatever you want your sim to wear under that. This next top is called the Cetra shirt by Adrienne Pastel. I don't know why, but it's kind of giving me librarian vibes, but I still really like it. I think it's because I'm so ready for fall. So anything that looks this cozy, I just need in my game ASAP. Top number four is also by Adrian Pastel, Pastel, I'm not sure, but this is the Paloma t-shirt. Very basic t-shirt, very wearable. You can just throw that on any sim with a pair of jeans and you're good to go. This is the Lotta coat. It kind of looks like one of those cold weather outfits we got with, I think, Snowy Escapes, but it's separated and, you know, you can pick and choose the bottom you want with it. So I love having that option and the swatches are also really nice. Then this is the Faith shirt. Pretty basic button down that's tucked in at the front. I love all of the colors. And there are also these patterns with stripes and, you know, all sorts of options. Very pretty. The next top is called Natalie Top. And this is the collection I was talking about. The Glitch Collection by Sentate and Aretha B. This is so good. I love every single item that comes with it. We have this leather top but it also comes in a non-shiny version so maybe if like the reflective leather is too much for you you can switch to that one but i personally love the reflective leather it looks so realistic but not too realistic and i love all of the colors there are even some patterns love 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 from the same collection this is the gloria top and again you have this version and then the more matte version and basically all of the same swatches next up the carry Next up, this is the Carrie Biker Jacket. Another item I am so, so obsessed with. I wish there were some options where the jacket wasn't the same color as the top underneath, but I'm still so in love with it. It's so good, so well done. This next top is called a Caveria top, I think. It's this really short crop top. It's kind of giving Kim Possible I love it. And then the last top in this collection is this jasmine jacket. It's just this leather jacket that's unzipped at the bottom. I love it. The next top is called Arabella top and this one is part of the Mimosa collection by Serenity and Green Llamas. And I love this top. It's so beautiful. It's kind of, I don't know, 70s and I love the solids and I love the patterns and I just love everything about it. Case closed. <laughs> I also got the tangerine top from the same collection. We have basically all the same swatches with this one as well. Same goes for the Alex top. I love this. It's so wearable, especially in the solid swatches, but I also love the patterns. We have the same options that we have for the other tops. And our last top for today, this is the Bruna top. It's kind of this crochet, I think, or braided pattern. I can't really explain it, but it's such a cute beach look. I really, really like it. Onto the bottoms, we are starting off with the Magda skirt. Again, kind of giving in to those librarian vibes. But on the right sim, this could look so cute. Another longer skirt. This is the Donna skirt. Kind of has this knitted material. I'm not sure what I would pair this with. But you can definitely do so much with a skirt like this. Next up, these are the Tara jeans in the straight version. Not much to say. I like that they are not super high-waisted, but also not super low-waisted. They are kind of in the middle. I also got these Enigma, Enigma skirt. Basic denim skirt with a big, big belt. Has quite a few swatches that you can 
choose from and even some cute patterns. Another pretty basic pair of jeans. These are the Piper jeans. They're kind of wide and straight, really easy to wear. Again, something you can just throw on, I think any kind of sim and it will look good. Back to the glitch collection. This is the Alexa skirt, a really short leather mini skirt. I think you can tell. Then these are the Medea pants. This collection kind of has a Charlie's Angels vibe and I love it. These are the Neo pants. I don't think I will wear these that often, but they just complete this collection. So I had to get them, of course. Then these are the Fox pants. These ones are very low price. So again, I don't know if I will use them that often. And the Jasmine pants, because they go with a Jasmine top, of course. Next up, I have these Juice jeans. Again, super low rise. We have all of these denim swatches. They look so cool. And also some patterns again. They definitely have that early 2000s vibe. Not super wearable, but definitely really cute. From the same collection, this is the Bruna skirt. Again, same solid swatches, same pattern swatches. And the last top, the Sam skirt, which matches this top, of course. And now onto the full body outfits. I have quite a few dresses, so let's get started. This is the twilight gown, a silk gown that comes in a few swatches that are all really, really stunning. I love the way this looks on this sim and the red swatch is just perfect. Next up the Christmas morning pajamas. Not as sophisticated but I love these. Obviously we have to wait a few more months for Christmas but I am so excited for the cozy season so I got really excited when I saw these pajamas. Next up this is the Himera outfit by Madeline. I really like this. I just don't know what kind of sim would wear this and what they would wear it for but I still had to get it because this outfit is just so so adorable. This next dress on the other hand is very wearable. This is the Savior dress by Adrian Pastel and this comes in so many swatches. We have some patterns, some solids, anything you would want. Mallory from the Family Dynamics LP wears one of these swatches in one of her outfits. I think it's this one if I'm correct and I love it. This next dress is called the Mandy dress. Again, I love everything about it. I love all of the colors. I love all of the patterned options and I can't wait to use this on one of my sims. Another outfit by Madeline. This one is the Makina outfit and we have two versions. There's this kind of like oversized suit and then there's the short blazer dress version. The top underneath is not part of it. Without it it's very boobalicious so I decided to put a top underneath but you don't have to do that and if you do you can of course choose whatever you want. Not everything works but yeah this one I think looks pretty nice. This outfit is also by Madeline and it's called the Lexi outfit. Perfect for the gym. I like the swatches, not much to say. Then this is called the Corita lounge set and I think it was inspired by Skims. I really like this set. Again, I'm not sure what my sim would wear this to though. I feel like it's not very practical for the gym, but I personally wouldn't wear this to sleep, but I still had to get it because it looks so nice. I just don't know what I would wear this to. Ooh, this swimsuit I'm obsessed with. It's called the Lagoon Swimsuit. I can always use more swimwear and I love all of the swatches and there are so many fun patterns. The sarong is separate, so you can take that off if you don't want it, but I personally really like the way that it looks. It just makes the outfit complete, you know? Next up, we have another really pretty gown. It's called the White Garden Iceberg Rose Gown by Rusty's. You know I love Rusty's. I love all of the colors that we get and there is this version and then also the version that has the big flower on the shoulder. I love both of them for bridesmaids or even as a bride or you know as a wedding guest if you take the flower away. I don't know I love this. From the same collection I have the Dahlia suit. Again we have this basic version and then the version with the flower attachments with flower without flower. They are pretty similar, but I think I prefer the one without the flower. I also got this Let It Be Me dress by Jolie Bean. It comes in quite a lot of swatches. I especially love this teal one. So beautiful. And then you also get the matching gloves for that perfect Cinderella moment. I am obsessed. This cute little dress is called the corset blouse. 
It doesn't have many swatches, but I do like the ones that we get. And I don't know, this is so unique to me and so beautiful. And from the same collection, we got this pearly dress. It also goes with, you know, the pearly glasses and the necklace and earrings I showed you guys. Again, not a ton of swatches, but this one is just so cute. It's totally giving fashionable grandma vibes and I am so here for it. Then this is the Natalie dress with the Natalie gloves again from the glitch collection. With this you also have the option to have the shiny leather or the matte version. This is the Julia coat dress. I don't think I will use this that much but once you found the right sim for this this will look so hot. From the same collection again this is the Natasha dress and the switch cat suit. This next dress is called the clover dress. It's basically the same as the clover top, only that it is a dress, of course. And then last full body outfit, this is the Lena outfit. It's kind of a loungewear set or maybe even a pair of pajamas, but you could also dress this up and wear it outside. So very versatile and I love all of the swatches and it's by Serenity, so you already know that. I'm gonna love it. <laughs> That's it for all of the clothing items. And I also downloaded so many shoes, but I've been talking for over an hour nonstop. My mouth hurts. <laughs> and I feel like nobody's gonna watch a video that long. So I'm gonna link all of the shoes down below. You can look at them if you want to. You don't have to, of course, but I definitely recommend that you do. Let me know if you want a shoe haul or a CC shoe video. I can totally do that. But I feel like for this video, it would just be too much. I really hope you enjoyed it though. Let me know what you think down below. Maybe in the future, I will only do CC shopping videos. No more CC hauls. Because this is just too long. This video is too long, I think. <laughs> but yeah, you can totally let me know what you think down below. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.